IBM 3480, a high-performance magnetic tape subsystem, complete with half-inch magnetic recording tape, stored in a compact cartridge. The IBM 3480 magnetic tape subsystem consists of a control unit and from one to four tape units. Each tape unit has two tape drives in it. Inserting and removing tape cartridges is easy and tape threading is automatic. Using correct procedures will ensure easy operation and help maintain peak performance of the subsystem. The parts of the subsystem that you will use are the drive operator panel, the tape cartridge, the cartridge entry opening and door, the drive switch panel, and the control unit switch panel. The drive operator panel can be turned to either side to make it easier to see and use. Snap detents hold it securely in your preferred position. You'll use the drive operator panel and its various displays for most of your work with the subsystem. It has three switches. A selected indicator that is lit when the drive is transferring data, attention bars that light when you need to go to the drive, and a message display for operational information. All subsystems show status messages. Status messages don't require you to do anything, they just tell you what the drive is doing. The simplest message is a single asterisk. This shows that there is no cartridge in the drive and that it is available for work. These are some status messages. The U or F displayed in the last character tells what the file protect status of the tape cartridge is. U means unprotected. F means file protected. Other messages read locating, erasing, end of tape, rewinding, unloading. These messages are not requests for operator action. They tell about automatic operations. You don't need to do anything when these messages are displayed. Some messages are requests for operator action. Most of these ask that a tape cartridge be mounted or demounted. If an M is displayed, you should mount a tape cartridge in the drive. The volume serial number of the tape cartridge to be mounted also appears in the display. The last character tells you the label type of the volume. S is for standard. N is no label. A is ANSI. X is a non-standard label and a question mark means the cartridge has an unknown label type. A D means to demount the tape cartridge that is in the drive. A K means to demount it and keep it in the library. An R means to demount the cartridge but retain it near the drive for reuse. If more than one action is required, the messages alternate on the display. Not all subsystems will show cartridge mount demount messages. The system console also gives information on cartridge mounting. Don't carry too many cartridges in your hands. You might drop them. If you need to carry a lot, use a cart or carrier. Don't put more than six cartridges in the stack, and be sure the stack isn't where it can be knocked over.